What's up folks, it's Nebra here. Just gonna take the GP1800 out for a little while up uh, in some creek. I want to take the time to share my initial impressions of the GP1800. The first time riding the GP1800 honestly wasn't too fun. It all kind of got ruined by the visibility spout and that's because where I live in Auckland City it gets quite windy and without much notice. So if you can imagine this spout that's supposed to shoot straight up, instead the wind was just pushing all that water right onto my back. It's still quite cold in October here. With the high wind added, it really wasn't very fun. It got cold really quickly. I wasn't prepared for that kind of coldness. Now before you say anything, I completely agree. And it's true. You should be prepared to get wet on a jet ski. That's kind of part of the fun. But if you're not prepared for how cold you're going to be, then you're not going to have such a good time. This drenching that I experienced, it wasn't from the ski itself riding on the water. It was all from the visibility spout. The first thing that I did after my ride, aside from washing the ski, was removing the visibility spout. After disabling the visibility spout, I got to actually start enjoying the ski. When you have a ski like the GP1800, you're gonna jump on and especially if you haven't ridden a ski before, you're gonna feel a little bit nervous. It goes really quick. Um, the smallest tightening of the throttle, you're gonna go flying. So it takes a little while, for most people I would say, to kind of get the grip of the ski, kind of feel it. But once you do, especially in something like a GP1800, you're going to have the most fun with it when you go pretty wild with it. You know, it really feels great when you take super tight turns, when you're doing donuts, when you're accelerating off the spot, when you're racing people, when you're going around boys. That's, that's probably the most fun if you can find somewhere where there's a course and you can uh, practice riding around boys, it's so much fun. The GP is incredible at tight turns, it's so sick for that. I can see why it's the race model. When you're in a bit more open water and the waves are starting to be a bit more choppy, the GP can definitely get thrown around a bit. But on the flat, it's absolutely crazy. It is so much fun. It's a really, really great ski. So the immediate feeling after riding it the first time is you're sitting on a rocket but after you've had a few more rides with it and you get a bit more comfortable with it that's when the smile starts getting bigger because you get more confident in making those tight sharp turns but straight away I think the major feel that you have from the ski is the quality you can really feel the quality of the GP1800 so my main feeling after riding it for the first time is that I hate the squirter it completely killed the ride for me but once you push that aside, it's incredibly fun. The GP in flat water is really, really bonkers, really fun. It turns so easily. You can really cut into the water. And I think that you have to get to the stage with the GP where you're not afraid of basically submerging the damn thing. <laughs> you know, you're almost with the amount of water that flows over it when you're in a tight, tight turn. And it's okay. It can handle that. It does it great. Straight away from sitting on it, when you're riding it, it just feels good. Before I settled on the GP1800, I knew that I wanted something supercharged. I didn't want to risk getting bored after a while. And with the GP1800, that honestly doesn't happen. It's really fast out of the box. Yeah, you might end up modifying it and making it go even quicker. But as it is stock, it's still going to put a big smile on your face. What surprised me most about the ski is really just how well it drives. It is really, really responsive. The hardest thing about the ski is probably holding on while it's going full throttle. For anybody that does decide to buy a GP1800, if you're not experienced, I highly recommend using the learner mode to start with.